Hello again, AACPS staff. In this video, we're going to pick up where we left off in the office lens video. So now we've captured our image and what we want to do is put it here as a background in slides and we're going to go ahead and change the size of the slide so that it better displays uh, that image. So in this video, I'm going to show you two different things. I'm going to show you how to make an image into a background and I'm going to show you how to change the size of the slide so that instead of of this uh, landscape format that we typically expect when we're in Google Slides, we get that page format that um, that we'd have if we captured an article or any other sort of document there. So the first thing I want to do is I want to change this slide um, and that to me is just easier than clicking and trying to delete each of these boxes that are ready to accept text. So I'm going to go up to the menu option here that says slide and I'm going to choose the layout one and I'm just going to change it to blank so that I have that blank white space to work with right there. And now instead of going to insert image where you might think I would go in order to grab an image, what I want to do is go to this background option that is here, which is also under the slide option if you prefer. So I can click on change background or once again, it appears right here on the ribbon. So I don't care about the color of the background right now. What I care about is the image or what appears in the background. So I'm going to click on that choose image and then I'm going to go to Google Drive because that's where we uploaded our image to. And I'm also going to go to recent because I just did that a few minutes ago through Office Lens. So I know that picture is going to be right there at the beginning. So I'm going to grab that last one that I did and I'm going to choose insert. And that's it. I'm going to choose done. So now it's put the picture in there. But again, because that picture was in that portrait orientation um, or that article rather was in that portrait orientation. And right now my slide is in a landscape orientation. It's not fitting very well. It's very stretched out horizontally and very pushed together vertically. So now we're going to look at how to change the size of the slide. And I can do this in either order. I could have changed the size of the slide first and then put the picture in, it doesn't matter. But I'm going to go ahead and change the size of the slide. So I'm going to go up to File and then come all the way down to the bottom here where it says Page Setup. And right now it's telling me that it's a widescreen, a 16 by 9. And I'm going to click the drop down there. And I don't care about the screen size so much as I want to put in some custom dimensions here. So I'm going to choose custom. And then specifically what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make this match the size of a standard page. So I'm going to change the width here to 8.5. And, and I'm going to change the height to 11 and then I'm going to click apply and much better. Now it actually looks more like that portrait orientation when I'm capturing a picture of a document or an article or so on. So now that I have that first page in, if there had been additional pages that I needed to add, I could simply click up here to add a new slide, go all the way down to that blank one and every single page in this file is going to take on that same slide size or page size that I just customized it to. So I could go up to background, I could grab the next image, and I would have page two of my article on page two in the slides. Of course, the last thing to do here would be to name my presentation, and then I would be able to uh, open this, have it on my screen if I'm doing a live Google Meet with my students, or have it on my screen while I'm using WeVideo to record something and I'd be able to click on the line tool here, go down to scribble and I'd be able to use my scribble tool to annotate over top of it just the way I could if I had my document camera um, with me in my classroom. If I'm on a touch screen device, I can even do these annotations with my finger simply by touching and dragging to make that line there. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.